League of Legends was so much fun when I first started playing it back in season three or something. Damn, that's 10 years ago. I'm old. I remember the days coming back from school and just booting up League of Legends and then everyone was there. Everyone was online. Everyone wanted to play and everyone fucking sucked at the game. It was so hilarious seeing your friends go zero in 10 because they keep going in as Leona. <laughs> that shit was hilarious to see them just dying over and over and then they go ah, and then they started raging they go ah <laughs> oh you have that one quirky friend who just only plays this one fucking hero that no one understands pre rework atrox that was a weird one or oh, when someone plays something that's so stupidly broken like ap master Yi. i'm not sure if that's the thing back in season three but i remember people playing certain things and they just completely rolled over everyone or oh, you're just playing league of legends and since the games take so long you just hang out with each other you just vibe and honestly it just felt like a free mario party but it was online league of legends was really fun and eventually people quit so i was playing more and more alone right so what happened was that i used crazy strategies trying to improve because i had a bunch of time i used spreadsheets i used guides i took coaching as well and i also watched a bunch of coaching videos from other people and eventually i got to the point normal people playing league would see me as a god but i would know for a fact that i'm fucking trash at the game but that's only because i'm already at a specific point um in my skill level because uh, the other day i tried playing a 1v1 with a friend who's incredibly new and i fucking lost because i'm not good enough at that part of the game in a 1v1 look the thing is that if you're at a specific rank so diamond in league of legends if you play with people that aren't diamond or they don't have a improvement mindset or they don't understand what it means to have reached diamond ever or they've never reached a high rank in a game themselves the second you do something wrong or they beat you in a 1v1 or you lose a normal game while playing with them they just go wow we just lost with a diamond and i did better than him i guess i should be diamond as well and i was like bro that's not how it works what happened throughout the years as i kept playing league i found my niche i specifically like playing adcs the people with bows or guns the whole gameplay loop is you shoot you run you farm become stronger you get more money you get more resources so you can do the same thing again but stronger sounds pretty simple right in a mmorpg you would just be the archer that deals a lot of damage like a dps and i'm gonna refer to it as an adc now a attack damage carry i tried playing other roles being a tank or a jungler or mages but i don't like them sure i can play a couple of games and have fun but i don't want to improve playing them i don't feel like the game is as fun without playing an adc i want to keep playing but it's literally impossible or at least it felt impossible so imagine this you just try to do a thing and all of a sudden this shadow comes along he presses two buttons and you're fucking dead yeah you get one shot in this game like you're playing valorant or something playing csgo but it's not csgo it's league and the thing is that it's so incredibly frustrating to get one shot by everything and everyone even the characters that are not supposed to one shot you or at least they don't feel like they're supposed to one shot you but they still do every other role in the game right now can 1v1 an adc mom so my role and they can just obliterate me it's not fun they either have less resources or they have less levels or they just die 10 times in this game if you die 10 times you have nothing you have no gold you have no items you're not supposed to be strong at all but somehow because of game design or whatever is wrong they can still 1v1 if you're into league you should know that a 110 yasuo gets his power spike and that's a meme but if you're really not careful as an adc the 110 yasuo is gonna murder your ass even though you're 20 and zero and for the longest time i really thought that this was fun this is just it this is gaming but it's not hey it probably changed now i'm not sure obviously but it's way too late for me now i check regularly on the game i still sometimes see posts on the adc main subreddit all i see is just people crying everyone's like oh my role sucks or oh i just died because this yone ran two streams away from me and i'm Ezreal. well yeah that's a mood been there done that i died the same way as the people on that subreddit and i 
field for them. <laughs> I don't have an objective view on the game right now because I haven't been playing for about six months. Feels great, by the way. But yeah, I think the state of ADC is still the same as when I left it. If you know me, I made a bunch of videos on TikTok and Instagram, made a bunch of shorts as well on YouTube. I posted them on those three platforms where I play Cartus and Pantheon as an ADC. And those heroes are not supposed to be there at that role. They're a mage and a fighter, respectively. And they don't belong there. But because the role is so weak, I could just pick those champions and just roll over the enemy. And it looked incredibly funny. What the fuck? Look, I can press like 20 button inputs and get like 500 damage on an ADC. Or I can just press one button on Cartus and deal 4,000 damage or something on my ult. Because the ult on Cartus is so strong. What the fuck? And don't get me started on Caitlyn. Oh, that was so sad. So, XFN Saber, X Challenger ADC main. So, the highest rank in the game you can get. He figured out a way to play this specific character, Caitlyn. He found out a way to burst someone down with special animation cancels. And animation cancels are not that weird in video games. Especially if you're coming from a fighting game. They're pretty normal there. So, how an animation cancel works is that you shoot something out or you punch. But the second that the damage goes out, you start to do something else so that you don't get stuck in a longer animation than you have to. We call that an animation cancel. There are a couple characters in League of Legends that actually have that, especially Riven. That's probably the biggest culprit, but pretty much every character has some kind of animation cancel these days. I don't understand this change. So what happened was XFN Saber found out about this animation cancel on Caitlyn. It's a really hard trick. And what you could do was you could shoot out your headshot, not once, not twice, but four times. And the original ability is just you attack and you shoot a headshot. That's it. That's the basic premise. He figured out a way to shoot it four times. It's really hard and there's a lot of conditions on making it work. But what Riot decided was that they didn't want this animation cancel on Caitlyn and they completely removed it. They just thought, no, fuck you. You're doing too much damage. How dare you? And they removed it. And it's so sad. Like, why? It was such a big deal to see the upper ranks of League of Legends play Caitlyn and then just to see them do this very hard combo. You can't just go around and be like, oh, I pressed the button twice and then do the cancel thing. No, you have to follow this specific sequence and you can only do it at this specific time. And if you fail it, well, that. You, you just do less damage, that's it. And so other nerfs that happened, ADCs in the past were able to provide. They used to be able to just walk around alone and if the other guy did not hit their complete combo or they outplayed you, you die. That's the basic premise of the entirety of League of Legends, but they kept hitting these nerfs on ADCs, on their health, on their armor, so they take more damage and they die faster, while at the same time, other classes just got more damage. The damage creep kept coming in, also the mobility creep kept coming in, so everyone these days has so many dashes. Holy fuck. So I don't know what's happening with Smolder and Huey, the last two champions. I don't think they have a lot of mobility, but the champions before that do. So Briar and Afiri, holy fuck. Those two champions, they can jump like holy shit i think briar has a dash that goes across the map which is insane because the map takes about a minute or two to walk across but this champion can do it in one button sure it's conditional you have to hit someone across the map with it to actually jump there but what the fuck and i think the fury has a point and click dash that with the range of about one screen away and then other newer champions that have a bunch of dashes are xante and nila and belfef if you play league of legends you should know that those champions are fucking insane with how much they can jump around but at the same time adcs didn't get that they didn't get that approach at least the old ones did the old ones that i like playing just got left in the dust i like playing Jin, misfortune and maybe a bit of tristana but those champions they're nowhere near as mobile as what i just mentioned and it's sad because if any one of the enemy champions that are extremely mobile gets on your face you're usually just dead and you can't do much about it and one of the biggest outplays you can in League of Legends, as an ADC at least, is you bait the enemy team into blowing up their skills towards you, but then you don't die. That's like the biggest outplay. But you can't outplay them like that because you can't get hit. So what do you do? Well, you stand outside their range, just outside their range, and you play around, and then you just bait them into using it just so you don't get hit. That's not outplaying. It's like you're playing some kind of game of chess. And sure, there's ADCs that are mobile now, the newer ADCs, but I just don't enjoy their playstyle. They're so far away 
from what I like about ADCs. So you have Nila, Akshan, Samira. Those three, they're hyper mobile. Sure, just like the other guys, but they don't play like the characters, like the type of characters that I want. They play more like Pantheon, as I mentioned earlier. They, they're fighters. They go close up and they murder you. And it sucks. It really does. I was really familiar with the map before the new changes. They apparently changed a lot. And it's some kind of weird comfort, comfy feeling to know that the map and some characters and the general gist of the game stays the same. I don't know. It just feels like going home whenever I play the game. But that's another thing. League of Legends, when you try to get better at the game, is impossible to get better at the game. So let's say that you want to improve. So you would have to learn the basics of the game, the fundamentals, slowly but surely get used to whatever hero champions you're playing. Then you have to know the matchups. You have to know what the enemy is doing, what they're capable of, what all the other champions are capable of. The thing is, is that it's fucking impossible as a new player. There's 167 champions right now, and every one of them interacts differently with whatever champion you have. It's insane trying to learn that. And then even whenever you try to learn all the different matchups that you have, you don't have to learn 167 matchups. Usually it's something like 10, maybe 20 matchups. But the issue that I have is that they release patch notes about every two weeks or something. And so let's say that you were trying to learn Annie or something, the, the most basic of basic champions, and you're trying to learn her, but all of a sudden they just change two of her abilities. Well, now you kind of have to relearn her champion and you have to relearn how it interacts with everyone else. Oh, but also two weeks later, they change how the map looks or they change something in the map or they change some of your items. And it's super hard to keep up in the first place, even whenever you know most of the game. But imagine this as a new player. You can't even get used to the game before the game changes again. I don't even feel like I can take a break from the game. I never felt like I could take a break from the game because if I took a two month break from the game, I would have missed usually six to eight patches. And holy fuck, that's a lot of changes. Let's say that you have three meta heroes that are the top tiers on ADC at least. Maybe six patches down the line. All of a sudden, everything changed again. And instead of the old three that you knew, there's four champions right now on the top tier. Now you have to learn how those guys work. It's incredibly frustrating and extremely time consuming as well. And let's get started with the community. Everyone knows from the outside in and when you're on the inside that the community from League of Legends is the fucking worst. Do not interact with League of Legends players. That's the general gist, I guess, from people looking in from the outside. And I can't blame them. League of Legends players are some of the most mental people that I have ever seen or spoken to. You try to do something and you fail. All of a sudden, you get called 10 million words and now there's six different guys in the bed with your mom. Like, what the fuck? Or you do something they don't like. Well, all of a sudden, one of your teammates, maybe two of your teammates, just run it down. They just died repeatedly. And all of a sudden, now you have two trolls because you did something they don't like. Or even worse, one of your teammates does something that another person doesn't like. And now they're trolling. You didn't even do anything. League of Legends has pushed me so far that I just disable all in-game communication everywhere whenever I play an online game because I have no faith in any type of randoms in online communities anymore. So right now I play Overwatch, right? And one of the big things in Overwatch is that you usually sit in a voice chat with your teammates. I just don't want that. I don't even have text chat on. I don't have voice chat on. It's fucking awful how much League has done. And let's talk about Overwatch later. But right now I want to mention Crow Score. So I got at a rank where I could play with one of the bigger League of Legends streamers at the time. I think he had about 5k, 3k viewers at the time. And what happened was that I got in this game, I got a DM from one of my friends and he said, yo, dude, what are you doing in my gross gore stream? I'm like, what the fuck do you mean? I look over to my teammate. His name says gross gore. And the first thing I think is, huh, that couldn't be him, right? I go to his stream and sure enough, I'm there. I'm on this fucking stream. And I thought, oh, that's cool. Let me just play normally. I had a shit game. It was at my normal rank. Every game is a fucking struggle. It's super hard, but I still failed because I didn't know what to do. I just had a bad game. That happens sometimes. Well, at the end of the game, I think I won that. And he just did his normal thing. Then he just went on about me being like, I carried him. This guy fucking sucked. Look at him. He did nothing. His whole chat just went, oh yeah, he's fucking shit at the game. Why is he still playing? Just go fucking uninstall. And I just really thought, huh, oh damn, I don't like people anymore. The fuck? That's also another thing, right? In League of Legends, there's this weird obsession with asking hey what's your rank like if you're playing with friends does it really matter that someone's rank is when you're playing with 
friend or maybe friends of friend or if you meet stranger let's say that you were to meet a stranger you were to go to a bar and you would meet another league of legends person i can almost guarantee you that the first question that they ask is what's your rank instead of saying something like what do you enjoy playing in league of legends or what do you enjoy about league because fuck having a normal questions i need to know your rank that's the most important thing ever and i think that's honestly so batshit crazy and now for a long time i couldn't even relax while playing the game when i whenever i played with friends sure most friends were just like oh cool he's good at the game but then you have a couple of those rotten apples that are like oh you're diamond oh you you had a bad game oh i'm diamond now oh, look at me like bro shut the fuck up the hell's wrong with you there's this big feeling in league of legends that people they feel like they deserve a certain rank without putting in the work and the effort like no you don't deserve shit you don't deserve your rank if you don't have your rank you don't deserve anything right now i am actually chilling i feel like i'm having so much fun playing other games so right now my competitive game is overwatch well overwatch 2 technically and i am fucking bad at the game but i'm having fun most of the time at least <laughs> you know sometimes i still tilt that happens sometimes but it's a lot less worse than league of legends and i feel like there's a lot of concepts in overwatch that transferred from league of legends to overwatch even though it might not seem like it i still have zoning and controlling and the fundamentals of the game which are having mechanics having good aim i don't know what the other mechanics are of overwatch i'm not good enough for that but i feel like there's some kind of fundamental that you have to learn and then on top of that you learn the other things so you get better it just feels good to improve and sometimes it doesn't feel good to play but that's honestly every game with a ranked system whenever you see a lose and you realize oh my rank is going down and then you just feel bad but i don't feel like i'm playing a minion i, I don't feel like i'm playing a, a money sack that just gets murdered by literally everyone in overwatch if you make a mistake you can probably go back and analyze and be like oh yeah i should have walked here should have took high ground should have done this or that and then you can improve in league of legends if you try to do that you first of all need to recognize did my teammate do something wrong was it just unlucky did i do my combo wrong or whatever i don't know overwatch just feels like a fresh breath of air and also this last season season 9 actually feels fun to play i might make another video on that so stay tuned for that i have a secondary multiplayer game i play monster hunter world right now i play the hunting horn there which is my musical instrument that bonks the dinosaurs fucking amazing best feeling ever whenever i see a big pickle comes in and i go whoop 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 and then they go boom the dino just falls down i'm like ha loser and for single player games i played celeste i went through the whole thing in just four hours it was amazing i actually had fun it was a challenge and i also play far cry 5 recommendation for my good friend mipu and i kind of just blow everything up there there's a lot of freedom i can just go in and be like oh an enemy i have a gun nah here's a dynamite <laughs> kaboom incredibly fun but i didn't realize that league of legends just drained out the fun of gaming for me i didn't know but right now i actually feel like gaming is something that's fun instead of something that's to be dreaded whenever you queue up for rank if you're still playing league of legends i hope you're actually really really having fun otherwise just ask yourself do i find this game really fun now because if you've been there for a couple of years it's literally a different game right now and i wouldn't blame you sticking to league of legends because it's just the game that everyone plays it's just the game that you know it feels like home but yeah let me know in the comments what you think of league of legends right now and its current state if you have something to share with me about the game or about gaming in general let me know in the comments i will be glad to hear and yeah that's it for me you next time